Hi guys, welcome to story time. Today we're going to read this beautiful book called Once Upon a Dragon's Fire by Beatrice Blue. Do you know how dragons got their fire? Do you? It all began once upon a magic kingdom when a fearsome dragon stalked the land. The dragon was mean, scary, and evil, so the story said. One day, two brave children called Freya and Silas set out to stop him for good. But when they found the dragon, he wasn't quite what they expected. Mm. Okay, let's do this, guys. Once upon a dragon's fire. Once upon a magic kingdom, before fire ever existed, there lived a terrifying dragon near a village. No one had ever seen the dragon, but everyone knew all about him. <gasps> that's right, there they are, and that's their village. For it was written in books that he was so mean, dragon, he ate kittens for breakfast. He was so scary, he made children scream. And he was so evil that he blew huge storms out of his jaws, which was only why it was always so cold. Everyone was scared of the dragon. Except, everyone except for Freya and Silas. They loved reading stories about the dragon out loud to each other. I'm not scared, Silas would say when Freya spoke of the dragon's roar, which was so loud it destroyed the roof. I'm not scared either, Freya would say, when Silas read about the dragon's long, sharp claws and terrifying teeth. They are not scared. One bitter winter day, a big, big storm began to blow. It was so cold that all the warmth left the town and no one could bring it back. This storm must be dragon, the dragon's fault, Silas said. Enough is enough, Freya answered. We have to do something. Both of them were both of them agreed. Where agreed this bad dragon must be stopped. So the two of them set off up the high windy mountain. When they got to the top, they found a cave. Two big yellow eyes shone out from the dark. I'm not scared, Silas whispered. They stepped inside. And they saw the dragon. But he didn't have long, sharp claws, he didn't have terrifying teeth, and he didn't roar so loudly that roofs were destroyed. Oh, look at that, he's right there. In fact, this dragon wasn't scary at all. He was just cold, scared, and very, very lonely. We need to help him said Freya. Aww. Freya and Silas knew that when they felt sad or lonely, there was one thing that always made them feel better. So they snuggled close to the dragon and began to read. But then Silas realized something terrible. Every story they knew said the dragon was evil. But that's not true, 
said Silas. Then Freya had an idea. What if we make up a new story? She said. Now, once upon a magic kingdom, there lived a very beautiful dragon, <laughs> Freya said. Everyone loved him because he was kind. Ooh. He always remained, reminded people to stay together and be good to one another. <laughs> As Dragon listened to the new story, a warmth started to grow deep in his chest. The more Freya and Shilas talked, the warmer and warmer he got. Until, whoa, whoa, wow. The warmth burst out of him in flames. It was the first time a dragon had ever breathed fire. Look at him grow. He is just huge, guys. Look at him. Beautiful. He is just beautiful. It was the first time, first time he ever breathed fire. With this new power, Dragon flew down the mountain to protect everyone in the town from the mighty storm. He wrapped all of their homes, he warmed all of their homes and their hearts. Aww. From that day on, dragons carry fire inside to remind us of something very important. that we can only truly discover something with our own eyes and even on the coldest days a spark can come from something as tiny as a new story. Aww. To Jane, Mark, Freya and Elle who showed me the first real dragons and to Danny my friends in Montreal for building new stories together even on the coldest days. And to Nina, oh I love you. I know everybody loved him. Oh hi Yasana Didi, it's okay. Dorge, I hope you enjoyed Taekwondo classes. I hope you enjoyed Taekwondo classes and I will want to see you at Taekwondo moves sometime soon. And today you're going to love our story. It was about a dragon and magic of story and love and kindness. I know he's a very super cute dragon. Thank you, Nina. And I really love this line that they have got here. That we can only truly discover something with our own eyes. And even on the coldest days, a spark can come from something as tiny as a new story. A spark can come from something as tiny as a, our story time. <laughs> What a lovely story, guys. Once upon a dragon's fire. It take this positively growing with happiness. Yes, he did. He did. He did. And there he goes, warming the entire village, including Shreyas and Freya and Silas. They, are, they were very brave. They were very brave that they tried to go in front of the dragon and try to then they, there was courage. They mustered all the courage to show him love and read stories to him that actually ignited the fire. That was really, really awesome of them. <laughs> and there you go. Dragons of fire, everyone. <laughs>